Saying that Fortnite's map has changed a lot from seasons 1 to 11 is probably an understatement. From new biomes to new cities, islands, and even volcanoes, Epic is constantly changing Fortnite's map to try and keep the game from getting stale. Based on that, there's a good chance that once Season 11 ends, the map is going to be altered yet again, and many of the locations that you can currently find will no longer be there. Whether a location might be part of an event, it has already served its purpose, or it's simply a bad drop location that nobody goes to, there are plenty of reasons as to why some of the Season 11 drop spots might disappear. So we've taken a look back at why Epic got rid of some of the game's previous locations, and used that information to try and speculate as to what might be leaving the map next. That's right, on today's episode of The Countdown, we'll be covering 5 Season 11 11 locations that might disappear when Season 12 rolls around. Number 5. Mountain Camps The mountain camps are overall a pretty cool collection of small drop spots. These three locations come with various small tents and outhouses, and reward players who drop at the bottom edge of the map with plenty of loot. We actually mentioned the spot in our top 10 best unnamed drop locations because, well, nobody drops here. Like, literally nobody. So there's probably a decent chance that these camps won't make it to see Season 12. Sure, you can hit all three, you'll probably set yourself up for the rest of the game with some decent weapons, but the fact that these camps are so out of the way is likely why we won't see anybody dropping here. As we've mentioned before, the Chapter 2 map has little to no mobility, and the last thing players want to do is drop on some mountains at the edge of the map and spend the rest of their game walking towards the circle. If the map was smaller, or if it had some vehicles on it, the mountain camps might be a more popular location, but as of right now, we could easily see them disappear when Season 12 rolls around in February. Number 4. Weeping Woods Weeping Woods is another location that we think is a good chance to disappear, simply because it doesn't offer much to the game. The location takes up a decent portion of the map, and only contains 11 chests throughout its many trees. Those 11 chests are spread out pretty far from one another too, which simply makes dropping in Weeping Woods a bad idea. Many players might drop into Slurpy Swamp, then head up towards the woods and harvest some trees as they head towards the circle, but that's really the only purpose that the location serves. Not only that, but Weeping Woods is very similar to Chapter 1's Wailing Woods, and doesn't contribute anything to Fortnite that we haven't seen already. We're not 100% positive that Epic is going to get rid of Weeping Woods, but the location is certainly disposable and there's a good chance that it won't be around much longer. Number 3. Steamy Stacks Steamy Stacks is probably one of Chapter 2's more iconic locations, so you might be wondering why it would disappear. Well, we know for a fact that Epic often likes to tie in-game events to locations on the map, we also know that they really like to go above and beyond with those in-game events. That being said, a nuclear meltdown event involving steamy stacks could totally happen, and really seems like something that Epic would come up with. The event may include steamy stacks completely exploding, as radiation affects the area around it, and given that Chapter 2's map has so many rivers and bodies of water, it's easy to assume that a nuclear meltdown could even infect the water supply and completely change the map. They could really roll with this theme too introducing radiation-themed skins and emotes, making radiation the entire theme of Season 12. Once again, this is completely based on speculation, but a nuclear meltdown definitely is something that seems like it would work within Fortnite. After all, Steamy Stack's location is at the northwest tip of the map, making it a fairly inconvenient drop zone when you think about it. Will there be a meltdown event down the road? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Number 2. Central Island I suppose if you're going to put an island in the dead center of Fortnite's map, calling a ton of attention to that island and basically begging players to check it out, you might want to actually put something there. Instead, the central island offers a few small buildings with a handful of chests, and that's about it. Basically, we think that Epic is going to do something to alter this location, simply because it's not very interesting at all. And based on its location, you would definitely expect it to be interesting. I mean, they didn't even give it a name. The fact that this island is located in the dead center of the map has to mean it has some sort of importance, right? Either way, we find it very hard to believe that the central island is going to remain on the map as it is right now. They probably won't get rid of the entire island, but there's a good chance that they might change it up. Number 1. Risky Reels For many of us at the countdown, Risky Reels, the drive-in movie theater, has always been one of our favorite map locations in Fortnite, but there's a very good chance that we're witnessing the end of its run. After all, Risky Reels is one of the few old locations that made it to Chapter 2, and it's pretty easy to assume why it survived. The location was heavily involved in the Star Wars event, and an exclusive scene from the movie was projected onto Risky Reels' screen during the event. Seeing an exclusive Star Wars scene within Fortnite was pretty cool, but we're assuming that this is the only reason why Risky Reels made it to Chapter 2 in the first place. That means that the location has served its purpose, and that there's going to be a chance we won't be seeing it on the map again. We'd hate to see Risky go, but it's been in the game since Season 4, making it one of the oldest locations we've ever seen. So unfortunately, this is probably the end for Risky. Farewell, friend.
Well, that's our list covering five Season 11 locations that might disappear. Which locations do you think Epic will get rid of? And what Chapter 1 locations would you like to see return? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe. You can also share it with your friends and ring the bell so you always know when we upload. Make sure to stay tuned to the countdown right here on YouTube for more great gaming content. Till next time!